Today, we're gonna have a balloon race. Are you ready to get started? Hey gang, welcome to STEM at Home. My name is Brandon and I'm a creative on the Worldwide Brain Team. My daughter and I were gonna race some unicorns today, but in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we're gonna race turkey corns. Now you may be asking yourself, what is a turkey corn? Well, it's the animal you make when your daughter loves unicorns, but you're making a Thanksgiving video. Hey kids, science can be a lot of fun, but it can also be dangerous. So please make sure you have an adult present for your experiment. Thrust is created by the release of energy. When you blow up a balloon with air, it's stored as potential energy. By releasing the balloon, air escapes, creating thrust which moves the balloon forward. Blowing air can be pretty useful. In fact, we use it to cool our servers, workstations, and PCs. First, you're gonna to wanna to blow up your balloon nice and big. Now you're gonna to wanna to spin the end and clip it off with a uh, clothespin here so you can keep the air inside the balloon while you finish your build. Now just grab your straw and you're gonna to wanna to put two pieces of tape right in the center of the straw. We're gonna tape this to the balloon, but it's easier to go ahead and put the tape on the straw first. Now when attaching to the balloon, just make sure it's centered nice and in the middle of the balloon. That'll help it run straight. Next, we're gonna tape a quarter to the bottom of the balloon. This adds stability and keeps the balloon from spinning out of control on the string. Now it's time to decorate your unicorn. Make sure to use lots of glitter here. From my experience, the more sparkly the unicorn, the faster the unicorn. Now all you've gotta do is add your turkey corn. Make a circle of tape, and simply place it in the middle and secure your turkey corn on top. Now you're almost ready to race. Now just run your string through the straw. This is what your balloon racer will travel down during the race. You'll need to find a place to run your strings. I'm running mine from my mantle all the way down to an end table about 35 feet away. So I'm gonna cut two 35 foot pieces of string, one for each balloon. Before you race, remove the clothespin and hold the ends with your fingers. That way none of the air escapes. At the count of three, each person let go of their balloons. Three, two, one, go. Yes! Yes! Thanks for joining me on this episode of STEM at Home. I hope you enjoyed making your balloon racers. Bye kids. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. Second place is still good.